Hey there, Sue Hansen with you for another video tip. This is going to be a video about how you set up and use Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts is another one of the free tools that I'm overviewing on this blog post. So if you're seeing this somewhere else and you want to see a bunch of other free tools you can grow your business with, go ahead and look for the link and click it and go back and read the post. There's a whole bunch of free tools. Google Hangouts is great because we talked about Jing earlier and how you can use Jing to do a up to a five minute recording of your screen and that's good for training purposes but a lot of times and I had a huge problem with this when I first came online it's hard to get it all in in five minutes and honestly I still generally talk a little bit longer than I should so being concise, you know, it's good to be on Jing to keep practice, to be short with your training videos, but sometimes you really just need a longer video because it's something more in depth. And so if you don't have something like Camtasia or something like the program I'm using right now through MPN, then what you can do is go over to Google Hangouts and do a screen share with yourself only, you're in there instead of hanging out with others, it's just you and you're doing a screen share and it's recording so that you will have that and it'll actually get some automatic syndication which we'll talk about in a minute. So how do you get there first of all? How do you set it up? Well first of all if you don't have a Google account or a Gmail account then you need to set that up and that's free. So go ahead and get a Gmail account and when you get that set up or if you already have it I want you to log into your Gmail account and this should be a Gmail that's associated with your YouTube account. If you don't have a YouTube account, you may have a couple of extra steps because you may have to set some things up as we go through. So go to your Gmail account and there's more than one way to get here, but I'm going to show you a really easy way. In your Gmail account on the upper portion of your screen, when you're logged in, you should see your name with a little plus. Go ahead and click on that and then you'll come to, it'll take you to this screen right here. Then what you want to do, you don't want this one over here. This one's for people that are already in your Google circles, people that you're already friends with, and this is inviting them to hang out with you. But what we want to do is we want to do Google Hangout on air. We want to broadcast out because what happens when you do the on air one is it automatically records, which is what we want to do. We want to create a recording. So go over to home and click the arrow and go all the way down to Hangouts and click that. Now, if you don't already have the app that you need loaded to do a Hangout, when you click here, it'll ask you, or it'll tell you to go ahead and download an app. It's a really small app. It won't take up much space on your computer, so you'll, go, you'll have to go ahead and do that first. But after you do that, you know, after you click Start and get the app, then what will happen is you'll get this little symbol. So if you haven't done the app, you'll load the app. Once it's loaded, you come up to that same page. My camera just on, and it's, it's not funny because it's really, really slow because I'm recording, I imagine. But what you'll do is you'll go ahead and you'll name your Hangout. So we're going to name our Hangout. Oops. Sorry, that's not what I wanted to call it. There's such a delay, it's kind of weird looking at it. Okay. How to set Okay, once you get your name, this box right here, if you want to send an invitation, you can do it by email address or people that are in your Google circles. But I recommend, I've had trouble with that and it doesn't always work. I found there's an easier way to do it, so I'm going to show you that. So what you do is don't put anything in there and go here and start your Hangout. Now it's not going to go right away when you're, you're broadcasting live. There's actually going to be another step to go live, so don't worry about that. So go ahead and click it. And mine's a little slow because of the computer doing multiple things at once here. So we'll give it a second. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is just go over a few of the things that you can do to set this up. I'll show you how to do the screen sharing, I'll show you how to add your name underneath. And I'll also show you how to do some silly effects if you want to try that. So, 
to bear with the delay between me doing the clicking and it actually showing up your screen. I apologize for that. We're still not live. I haven't pushed start broadcast because I want to just show you. In a second, the option will pop back up over here. Now you can go through and experiment with all these things before you go live on air. And I suggest that you do that because you want to know what to do. Up here you'll see your camera settings. And you know, this is actually new, so I have to actually see what this one is. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is another way to add people. But as I said, I'm going to show you a different way. You can add them this way. You can try that, see how it works for you. It never worked really well for me. So what I usually do, when I want to, if I do want to invite people and have an actual hangout with people, what I normally do is I actually take, actually take the link up here and I give it to people. And they can come in that way and then they'll be on the same broadcast as you. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you how to set up I'm actually going to show you how to set up your name underneath. So what you need to do is go to this one right here. It's the toolbox. And you click on the toolbox. And then you'll get a little pop-up over here on the right. You click on this one that looks like a person inside of a circle. I've already had it my name, so what you do is add your name. If you have a tagline, you can add that here. And if you have a logo, you can add that here. And you can pick a background color, whatever you want to pick. OK. Up here, this is where you decide if it's going to show up on screen or not show up on screen, OK? And overlay, I believe overlay is where there is going to be what shows up if your camera is off or if you if you're on the hangout but your connection gets weak for a second so you can choose that as well and preset that just means that if you maybe have a couple of different types of hangouts that you do that you might want to set up different names or different taglines and save them that way when you go to do that you don't have to go back through and reset this up every time so you can do that and you can check and see what the other things are that you can do the comments are kind of they've added some additional things since I've been on here last with the comments so you can check those out and let's see I know a lot of people use they connect their Google Hangouts to an optimized press through WordPress and that's how they get that place where they can add the live free comments underneath and hook up their affiliate IDs to their entire team so actually do you know how to do that so maybe I'll do a training video on that sometime so you can do that as well for your teams if you want but hey if you're on the prosperity team or one of the other big teams, we've already done it for you, so go ahead and plug in and take advantage of some of these resources that we have for you. Okay, so that's how you do that. That's how you hook up your name. And then let's just let's see if we can get back over to our control panel and I'll show you how to screen share your screen. Oops. Sorry about that. I'm trying to, I gotta figure out how to get back over there now. They said they changed their stuff a lot, so it's always a good idea to go in a little bit before your hangout. Make sure they haven't changed anything on you. There we go. Oops. So just come back over here and scroll, and it'll pop up. So screen share. So if you want to do a screen share, I believe it's this one. Yep. So you just click on here. And you'll see that whatever's on your screen will come up. You would have to click on start screen. And then you'd be sharing your screen. And then when you're done, you just go choose another application. So 
click on the box you want to share, start sharing, and now we're sharing. Okay, so very, very simple to do that. So that's all there is to that. And then the other thing is you can go over here. Oops, see if we can get it back up here. And if you want, you can just be silly and add faces and you know hats and things like that. But the big thing is, if you want to do a training video, you can just do the screen share. Now, I just want to show you how to go live real quick and what it does. And then that will be it for this video. And you can go, the best way to do it is honestly go try. If you make a video and you don't like it, you just go into YouTube and Google Plus and delete it. Simple as that. So... We're going to go back and we'll go ahead and show you how to get on there. Okay guys, so to, to actually go live, all you have to do is click start broadcast. You can decide if you want to do question and answer, have the audience be able to ask questions and have you answer them. You can do some settings here with your cameraman. Click on that, you'll see that you can have different options for the video feeds themselves and things like that and this is just special effects this would be like adding silly hats and things like that so you have to wait a couple seconds initially for some for an app to download but once it's downloaded see how quick that was it's uh just a matter i mean this is just silly stuff but it can be kind of fun to do that especially if it's just your friends and you're not broadcasting live so What we're going to do now is I'm going to actually go live, start a broadcast. You'll get this pop-up, broadcast publicly, publicly, and go ahead and click OK. You see this starting down here. It still says off air. It'll say on air when you're actually live. Hey, everyone. This is Sue Hansen just showing a demonstration of how to do a Google Hangout setup. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to turn on the camera now and say hello to everybody out there on YouTube. Now, guys, you see how this looks backwards to us. That has to do with the setting. So you can go over here to your toolbox right here and flip that around. There's actually a place. Like I said, they've changed this a lot. They've actually been adding enhancements. So... It looks like they don't change it to this. Let's see if this flips it. Yeah, there you go. So that little icon there will flip it. It used to have a word that said mirror image. Everything's going <laughs> to images. And here we are. We're live. We're showing how to set up and use Google Hangouts to your business. And then we could do the screen share or any of the other things that we wanted to do just by using these options on the left-hand toolbar. So guys, I hope you very much appreciated this video, and I am really glad that I was able to share it with you. So take care, and be sure to go and watch or read the blog post where I went over a bunch of other free tools that you can use to grow your business. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video. So then, guys, all you have to do is... Then all you have to do is push stop. Then what happens is it uploads it right to YouTube and Google+, and so you've automatically syndicated it. You don't have to go back and put it on those two things, so it saves you a step. But then you, once it's uploaded, you can go ahead and grab that link, and then you're off and running, and you've got a piece of great content to share. So that's it, guys. That's it for this video. I appreciate your time today, and I'll see you on the next blog video. Take care.